<clears throat> well, everybody, I think I might have found a shop for a car car shop. I've been looking for a building to open up a car shop. I wanted to do it down in Florida, the start of Florida, but because of what I'm doing for somebody, um, I'm stuck here for six months. And uh, I found a place I really think might work out for me. Um, and it looks like the reason why I want this place is because of where it's at. <clears throat> um, because I'm doing the YouTube channel, because of Facebook, because I'm from Detroit. And <clears throat> um, the things I'm involved in, I want to do food as well. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot of, you know, marketing myself, you know. But I want to have a place that has some type of uh, history behind it that looks cool so I can take pictures, you know, and do videos and photography for people when they bring their nice cars, you know. I'm talking expensive cars. I'm talking people that have money. This is it. <clears throat> Some will probably buy it before I can get it, but we'll see. You know, God, God does wonders. Uh, it's on uh, Joe's Campo. Uh, right here, the building is for sale. It was an old auto repair sh store, looks like, shop. <clears throat> and it's big. It's got two bay doors. One I can go in with the vehicle, so two. And look, it has the building next to it for sale as well. You can turn that into like a restaurant or something like that. I could have the, you know, the car shop and then <clears throat> the building. I could, you know, I could do something with that. Whether it could be, you know, I could live upstairs. I could make like an apartment upstairs or like, this is what I really, really want to do. It wasn't for me. It's for the people, right? So I had the car shop there, right? That's just an example. And then down here, have like a internet cafe where people can come in, they can sit down, get like, you know, you know, cappuccinos, that type of stuff, uh, you know, like small style pizzas, oven baked pizzas, only one style. That way it's not too much work for the workers, you know. Um, you know, it's, you don't want too big of a menu, a simple menu, simple stuff, very, very nice things, but simple. And then upstairs, you go upstairs, the kids go upstairs, so... Like, the family can come work. They can do computer stuff. They can do programming and stuff. But it'll be family-oriented. They'll be able to come here and work, put, grab a bite to eat, work, right? And bring their kids. And their kids can go upstairs. And what I would do is have basically most mostly female staff working upstairs. Um, <clears throat> and it would be it would be a really sophisticated place for, uh, for children for learning, um, you know, It'd be like a daycare center in a sense, but more geared towards uh, learning. So, you know, like each week there would be an event, whether it be computers or robotics or cars or photography or, you know, culinary arts, whatever it is, you know, um, there would be events hosted, that type of stuff. This is also why the car shop would work right next to this, because I'd be able to do all these things multiple things and it's all in one location and it's in an area that is safe in detroit um and it's it's well taken care of down here you know right down there is the park i was just sitting out and i did the last video you know there, there's border patrol hanging out smoking cigarettes while i was smoking weed you know they they came over it was checking me out so in the car you know they waved to me and shit i waved to them you know, you got the brewery right here. You know, I don't know. I don't even know what's back there. I haven't even looked yet. I've driven around a little bit. But I like the brick. The brick road right here. All that. Look, all the space in the back. I could clean all this stuff up. Gate it all in. I mean, it's already gated. But I would put a privacy fence up. So people can't see the cars and stuff and whatnot in the back. Um... I would only want the cars out in front to be seen. Ones that I want to be seen. Everything in the back would be private. I would definitely I would definitely bring all this in, make this in, box it all in. I might even I would even maybe put like a, a pavilion back here for people. 
um, to, you know, hang out, have a barbecue and stuff, you know. They can have a drink, you know, come over here, get a get a beer and stuff. They could come over, check out the cars, and they could, you know, have a drink, you know, and look at all the old cars and whatnot, new cars, whatever it is, you know. Um, they could check out, you know, Life Stories Perspectives and see what it is that, you know, we have going on, you know. There's going to be a lot of people working for me. It isn't just going to be me traveling. Uh, that's the problem is I, I got to find people that are willing to um, work with me and be able to help me as I travel and to be able to take care of these things, um, these buildings and run these businesses um, for their families as well because it isn't, you know, this isn't just for me, it's for all of us, the collective. So so if you want to be part of the collective, hit me up. Um, we might end up here, I'm not sure yet. I gotta see, I gotta make phone calls. It's always, it's always fun making phone calls.